Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go, y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Join the family if you like the food. It's the place to be. You come and have a little fun with your girl, can't see. What's up, my connectors, and welcome back to the channel. So today, all right, so today we just have some Super Bowl food. So I got some buffalo chicken bites. Fries, coleslaw, cheese bites. I think they're called cheese cheddar, white cheddar cheese bites. And I got some fried mushrooms. So if you are new to the channel, if you could please hit your subscribe button and your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to share, like, and leave me a comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. And I'm not. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Shout out to knocked everything over. I'm trying to hurry up and do this video because, you know, Kid got to do his little Super Bowl party. Everybody's coming over. So I want to get this done and out of the way. So I went to Zaxby's and got some of these uh, chicken fingers. And they're dipped in tongue torch. I think all the sauce on fell down there though. And y'all know, I um I was eating the cheese bites on the way home. Sunday fun day. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so hyped. But I am in a good mood. Everything's going well. I love it. Y'all eat the fried mushrooms. We're not gonna eat that bread. We ain't gonna do it. Do it for the gram. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the gram. You remember that little girl? <laughs> do it for the gram. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the gram. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> and then she tore that thing up. <laughs> Sorry. Real hype. So, um, oh, thank y'all for watching the video yesterday. I ain't even have time to get Super Bowl cute. You know, every year I try to at least put on like a little hat or a little sports shirt or the color of the team, which I don't even know the color of the team, child. I know one orange, something like that. Um, I don't know the other color. I try to be a little themed out in the video. Don't worry about it. Look at my hand, Asher. It's all gravy, baby. I don't think I'm even play with this marinara cause that marinara at Freddy's is so good. I don't know about this one. They don't even look right. Mm -mm. I like Freddy's marinara. Oh, and they got a new sauce, buffalo garlic. Let's try it. A garlic buffalo. Wait a minute. I think it's good. <clears throat> I think. Or is it salty? I can't figure that. Can't tell if it's spicy or salty. Let me just put it in there. I 
I'm leaning toward the salty side. I don't know about that one, y'all. You gotta let me know. I can't put my finger on it. I know I taste the hot sauce, the buffalo, right? <clears throat> I really don't taste any garlic. I don't know why salty is coming across to me. Hmm. But yeah. Oh, look at this big old mushroom. Mm. I ain't had time to play with the camera today. You know? I'm like, mm mm. Don't know if you shoot your little video. Real to the quick, quick. <clears throat> Let me ask y'all something. Anybody else been having crazy dreams? Or is it just me? I've been waking up 3 o'clock every single morning after having a crazy dream. And there's nothing sad or bad. It's just almost like my dream is telling me something or talking to me. <laughs> I know I sound crazy. I do. Like, my dream specifically told me to do something last night, right? So I woke up out of my sleep. And I was like, should I do that? You know? <laughs> you know? And it was so vivid. It told me exactly what was going to happen, right? I promise I shouldn't be saying this out loud because people are going to think I'm crazy. But I feel like I can share this with y'all. So in your dream... Just say in the dream, it specifically told me to go and buy a certain thing, right? And it showed me exactly what the outcome was going to be, which is, would have been really, really great. And in the dream, it was like, you got to have faith. You got to stop. You know, you just got to have faith. Have faith. You always talk about you have faith. Then just do it. But then when I woke up, I was like scared. <laughs> So that's why I never run around like trying to preach to people or tell people to do certain things because I don't do them sometimes myself. So I can't be like, you know, you got to do, but I do, I do tell myself you got to have faith over fear, but the dream told me what to do. Showed me the outcome. I was celebrating in the dream and everything. And then before the dream was over, it was like, you got to have faith. You have got to believe. Like, you know, we've shown you this thing 30,000 times, like literally. And you keep saying, but what if it don't work out? You know, <laughs> <clears throat> that's why I will never get on here and be like, follow your dream. Do it. But I do, I do want you to, but I can't do that. I can't really tell you that if I'm not executing that every single time I have that intuition you know i don't know why i decided to share this today but it was just on my heart and it's almost like it's saying i'm not gonna lead you wrong i'm leading you this way because this is where you need to go right it's just between us okay well you can share it with somebody else it doesn't matter so they might have had the same dream <clears throat> and they may tell me what to do but i promise you and you know, I can almost hear one love. Because one love on here, she always, you know, giving me like these spiritual or positive like sayings or affirmations or leaving those kind of comments in the comment section, right? And I, I'm really appreciative because who seems so enlightened, you know? <laughs> I'm on a roll today. Sometimes I just need to shut up. But yeah, it was it was so vivid. It was so vivid. And I know, you know, I missed that opportunity. But, of course it's going to come again, right? But I'm wondering if I will have the faith to do it. 
and every time it says do it, I never do it. I don't know. I know I sound crazy. I'm gonna just change the subject. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you one thing though. We definitely get in our own way. And I know I've told y'all this before. I had this conversation with y'all before. But for some reason, I just, I won't follow it. I just, and then when I do finally follow it, it always works out. So why? Why, why am I so afraid? Why? I don't know. It always works out. Even better than I imagined it working out. But I'm still scared. What am I trying to hang on to? It's like, you ever feel like in life, like, life is trying to push you in a certain direction that you actually asked for? You asked for this. You prayed for this. You longed for it. And then when it's happening and the door is opening for you, you scared to go in. Like, what's your problem? What What, what is wrong? Why won't you follow what you prayed for? You asked for it. You prayed for it. It's working out better than you ever thought it would. And then you're scared. <laughs> That's why I'm never going to run right here and preach something that I'm not doing, okay? I'm not going to tell you, do this, do this. You got to do this. You got, uh-uh. Because -uh. sometimes I don't even do it. And I feel like if you're giving someone that advice, you need to execute and follow through. You're telling people to be motivated. You're telling them to be inspired. You're telling them to follow their your passion and do all of this stuff but you're not doing it so <laughs> how do you expect anything to happen when you're not doing it to me you inspire people by your actions more than just what you say because all of us can get on here and quote some scriptures or quote you know, some affirmations or quote this or quote that, but are you truly living it and walking it and executing and making it happen? Are you putting all of that into action? Cause I think more people will be inspired by what you do rather than just what you say. So I don't know child, let me hush. It's, it, I just had to tell you about the dream cause it was so vivid and I didn't follow through and I didn't take the chance and then the opportunity passed. The opportunity is going to come again, but I just wonder why or do you hold yourself back from doing certain things? But that's it. I'm not going to talk about it no more. It's Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> it's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm mushroom bone. I don't know about this sauce, y'all. I can't be like, oh, it is so good. Because I taste the hot sauce stuff, but I don't know why it tastes salty to me. I'm going to be swole like a blowfish. Just watch. All them. You can tell when I eat a lot of salt. You see it in my stomach. And, um, just everywhere. But I love me some fried mushroom, child. Fried okra, fried mushroom. Mm, mm, mm. You know, you just, you have to tell yourself, even if it fail or it don't work out, it's still going to be okay. So why not just do it? Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, universe. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then you do like this. Okay, next time... I'm gonna be ready. Okay, next time. No, you're gonna run out of times. You really are. I'm I get on my own nerves, okay? I really do. I get on my own nerves. Y'all be great. Stop asking for certain opportunities and then don't take it when it comes around. Don't do that. Do as I say, not as I have done. 
Okay. Will we get in our own way? I could at least put some lotion on. Don't worry about it. Oh. Um, got up here and did all that talking. I said I'm gonna come in here and eat this stuff and get out the way. Girl, he swear he says it. <laughs> <clears throat> I am I'm full already really um did I even eat my cheese bite maybe because I ate so many when I was coming mm. all right y'all um, so this is real quick I got some little finger food <laughs> For the Super Bowl Sunday. I know y'all probably finna have some spreads and all that. It costs all not bad. It's really not. Alright y'all. I love y'all. Y'all have fun today. Stay safe. Enjoy yourselves. Scream, holler, chill, whatever you decide to do today. Enjoy yourself. And I'm not going to tell y'all to listen to your voice no more because I ain't listening to mine. But I'm going to start. Okay, thank y'all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. And until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love y'all. Bye, y'all.